Hi guys, my name is Tournaments. If you have never met me before, hello. So, this video is kind of a weird merge of several worlds together, so let me just give y'all some context. Basically, as someone with a film degree and someone that's done a lot of film in my own life, as well as YouTube for a couple of years now, um, I have a good amount of gear that I've used. I don't expect myself to be like a tech channel or anything like that, but I've got an entire bin of gear that I use. And I wanted to show y'all the uh, stuff that I use for my channel because basically if I can work with stuff that will actually help people, I want to do that. This is part one of kind of a three part tech series thing that I want to do as well as an ongoing series about tech and film and other things like that. So welcome guys to a very impromptu, very weird uh, tech haul. Is that what I'm going to call it? Let's say yes. <laughs> Tech Hall 2019, let's call it that. First thing that I gotta talk about is the gear that I use, which is the whole camera that I have. Tech and stuff like this are very, very expensive stuff. So because of that, uh, I do a ton of research because I wanna make sure that what I'm getting is the best stuff possible. This is the camera that I've used for years. This is the Canon Rebel T5i. So I bought this camera four years ago when I first started my old channel. Originally, I was actually using the uh, 18 to 55 millimeter lens. I got this one because this was the kit lens that came with it. So this has been one that I've been using for probably, I'm gonna say, uh, about three and a half years. I think there's actually a problem with this lens because I've never actually gotten sharp focus whenever I've been using this lens. Basic lens, good lens. The big thing about YouTube is because the distance that I am between me and my camera, the average focal length that I'm on is somewhere along the lines between 24 and 28 millimeters. The reason why I use that is because 28 millimeters alone is something that was used in Hollywood for years and years. It's just wider than uh, the human eye, so it has a little larger than life look. Around my third year of university, so when I first transferred over to Central, I got myself two prime lenses. So the first lens that I got is the 24 millimeter. It's good, but I think my camera's motor, which is the focus like motor itself is a bit too slow. And also my sensor just wasn't good enough. So I had issues there. The second lens that I got is the 50 millimeter. One, this is one of the cheapest lenses I got. I think it's about 125 compared to other lenses, which can range anywhere from like 300 to like, you know, $1,200. But the 50 millimeter is great because it, there's a lot of argument about it, but basically this thing matches the human eye. A good amount of uh, directors, including like Alfred Hitchcock, actually used the 50 millimeter to simulate real life. If you were to do cinematography, a 50 millimeter looks great. But if you're doing like a YouTube video, not so much. You kind of want to be with more of a wide angle so that you've got more space to work with. After that, I got myself, for Christmas actually, I got a telephoto lens. This is the 55 to 250. A really good average is 85 or 135. They're really good for closing distance because what it does is it literally collapses the foreground and the background together to make it look flatter. So it makes things pop more. This leads me finally to the lens that I actually use, which is the, this is the 18 to 135. If you saw my ring light video, I actually made a video involving this one. This lens is fantastic. Uh, it's actually considered one of the cinematographer uh, lenses because it has the ability to zoom from ultra wide all the way up to 135. So it's able to cover a lot of ground for it. Whenever I deal with audio for stuff, one thing that I always have on is something called a lav. This is called a lavalier mic, which is that right here. This mic I think is like an Olympus one for like 26 bucks I got on Amazon. I got that, I got the splitter all together for about 30 bucks. I uh, actually have it hooked up to this, to a splitter, to an adapter, to my phone. Uh, the reason why is I would rather be anywhere and not have to do with a shotgun mic because I can be all the way here or all the way over here and still my audio will sound the same because the microphone is still right here. And that's the point of having a lav mic. Lav mics, because they're on you, they are fantastic because you don't have to worry about direction or echo. Oftentimes, whenever I'm out in the field, I use a road mic. If you guys saw on my Seattle video, I used this microphone. This is a shotgun mic, which basically means that uh, it goes on top of your camera. This thing is fantastic for audio. Keep in mind though, it's a very directional mic, so the audio is going to be more strong right in front of you. So if you're to do YouTube stuff, you put this on top of something called the hot shoe, which is basically just the top of the camera right here. The weird thing about this is there's also a three settings. There's off, there's on, which turns like green. 
then there's this one that's uh, a low pass filter i usually don't mess with the uh the filter there but if i were it's good for getting rid of wind because wind's about like 50 hertz it's a good way to cut it but i'd rather just fix it in post-production because i want to get all the sounds and then cut it out i've also gotten this one this microphone is the yeti blue mic i use it a lot for voiceovers and stuff like that and whenever i have it i have it actually set to the cardioid setting which i'll do a Later on, I'll probably do a video about the different settings for this microphone. If you saw my meditation video, you can do voiceover. But if you take the setting and switch it to biaural, it suddenly becomes a biaural thing, which means that you can talk from one side of the speaker to the other side, which I did in my ASMR video. It's a great mic and a very good intro mic if you're doing anything involving like gaming or like even like makeup or anything along those lines where you need to do voiceover or you need to have the microphone right next to you, I would recommend getting that over a shotgun mic just because it's cleaner and the sound can go directly into your computer. Now, because I'm extra as fuck, I always have to have a good pair of studio headphones that I added on. My old pair that I had were these ones that I actually bought off of a friend of mine. These are the Audio-Technica headphones. These headphones themselves have been really good. Good receptive sound. If you guys want a good pair of headphones for about 150 bucks. But if you're cheap like me, which is also very true, I actually did some research and I found a second pair of headphones. These are the Status Audio uh, CB1 headphones. About a month ago, I got those headphones and I showed them on my Instagram. These are fantastic. They're actually about the same quality as the Audio-Technica ones but they're much cheaper, they don't have logos, and the best part about them is they're squishy. And on top of that, they're like 70 bucks, which is so much cheaper than uh, the other ones, which are basically twice the price. These are fantastic. I've been using these whenever I edit my videos, but also when I'm starting to work on music. Speaking of music, I also have myself a mini keyboard. This magical device here is the Novation Launch Key Mini. Obviously, because I'm new to music, I don't have all the answers and I don't know how to fully use this thing, but it's a learning process. So anytime I ever use FL Studio, I plug this in. Later on, once I actually know how to properly use this thing and I actually make music like melodies, uh, I'll show this to you guys later on. Speaking of things I have no idea how to fully use, one of the cool things that I got myself is a mobile gimbal. This thing right here is the Zhiyun Smooth 4. Basically, it's a gimbal for your phone. This obviously is really good for mobile, like vlogging. It's also really good just to get actual like cinematic B-roll and some fun stuff. Yes, obviously, I don't fully know how to use this device and I'm completely okay with saying that because it's a learning experience. So I'll probably make some videos and make some B-roll and stuff like got on my phone just to test it out and see how it works. So now we're going to move on to probably my favorite goddamn thing of the entire freaking universe, which is the Apple stuff that I have. In order for me to actually, you know, uh, make something out of just the footage that I use, I have to get myself a computer. Now, the one that I got was a grad gift. This is the 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro. It's great, I love it. Um, I edit everything on this. I graduated with this device. Later on, yeah, I probably will get one of the larger sizes, like a 15 or 17 inch one. But for now, pff, it's fine. And I don't like the new Macs because they got rid of the SD card reader and the USB ports. When it comes to other Apple stuff, um, I use Apple for like everything. This is the Apple Watch uh, Series 4, um, obviously. I, I love it. I think it's great. It's a really cool device to have. I deal with a lot of social media stuff, so it's actually nice to have everything all on my watch. Final Apple thing that I got, obviously because I am a piece of trash, but also because I just like them because I needed them anyway, was I got myself a pair of AirPods. Honestly, the only reason why I got these things are because you need these in order to use this on its own. So I got the, this one is the data thing. I got these just on top of it because I wanted them. And you know what? I like them. And this leads me to the final thing, which is how I save everything. All video files, especially anything 1080 or 4K, take up a lot of space. My computer is only about, I think, 120 gigabytes because it's old. So I got myself a hard drive. True story, this is actually the uh, third or fourth hard drive that I've had because they like to break on me. I had three brick on me in my senior year of college, including one that broke right before the project was due. Basically, this is a four terabyte hard drive. Um, I have everything backed up onto here. I use this to store everything, including all pictures, all programs, all Apple programs, because you can actually store stuff on here. So I have like Final Cut save on here, FL Studio run on here, and a couple other stuff, as well as a ton of video footage, all pictures, and blah, blah, blah. There you guys go. There's all the tech stuff that I use on my YouTube channel. I don't want you guys to think that you need to use all this stuff to use or maintain a YouTube channel. To really be honest, all that you need to honestly start a YouTube channel is just like your phone. You don't need a ring light or an M50 or 
a shotgun mic or a microphone, a gimbal, a laptop, a Mac, and a hard drive. This is just stuff I've accumulated over the past four years and I love it because, you know, I get to be me and I get to use this gear because I have a degree in this so I know how to use it. But I'm also willing to experiment and do other things outside of the box. This new camera that I'm using right now, which I'll leave description from a new video up there, this is something that I've been waiting for for about four years. So I've used one camera for years and years and years and then I finally transitioned to this new one. You could have like a red camera and still be a shitty YouTuber or you could have like a MacBook Pro and be like Jenna Marbles and have your career take off because on YouTube, the camera does not make the YouTuber the creator does. There you guys go. Hope you enjoyed this little tech haul thing of my channel. Question of the day for y'all. What is your favorite piece of tech that you have yourself? Put it down below because I like seeing your answers. And then otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share this video with your people, and subscribe because I do make new videos every single Friday. I shall see you in the next video. Bye y'all.